they told me they're going to have a fence, a 300 foot fence, all the way down one side of this triangular odd shaped lot. It was almost a year ago when Coldstream resident Donna Young learned that her little slice of heaven was actually partially owned by a corporate giant. CN Rail informed her that a good chunk of her property was actually theirs and they wanted it back. Young had to purchase her own driveway for $18,000 and now CN Rail plans on putting a fence through part of her property, cutting off a memorial to her sister who passed away three years ago. Um, and the memorial, um, in our contract, they said that we could keep the memorial because that was made three years ago by my nephew who is now living with me. He's 10 now. His mother died, a horrible accident, and so he came to live with me. And as soon as we got here, he took a little railway piece of metal with these little posts that you put in. We can maybe show you them. Um, and said, this is my mom's grave. And he made it. And so ever since that, we've sort of added to it. My mom put the little characters up there and I built the stone wall. And there's a little path leading up so we can sit down and talk to his mom. I don't want it to be blocked off with a fence. I just think it's, it's unnecessary. I don't understand why. Um, they need a fence because for the rail trail, nobody down there is going to see it up here. The only people that see it is me. And I understand that this is the border of my property now. I'm not um, arguing about that. I just don't see the need for a fence. For Castanet News, I'm Darren Hanchu in Coldstream.